welcome to Micro Squad. We got Sam and Lillian here today, and we have a hashtag free Britney workout. So you guys know it's gonna be a full Britney playlist. Hopefully she'll just feel our good vibes and <laughs> everything will be okay. Um, I don't follow what's happening. I just I, I, I know think... something's happening, I just don't know like the conservative shit. That's yes. All I know. That's that's the extent. And there's some just crazy shit happening. But well, hopefully, you know, we send her all the good vibes and, you know, it all works out for her. But the props you're going to need today are a slider, your bala ring, and your bala bars, and then ankle weights. <laughs> all the bala stuff. <laughs> Strap it all on. If you want to, you can even add an extra pair of bangles to the wrists. But we are going to get started. It is a full hip routine. I know we haven't done one of these in a while, so we're going to lay down on our backs getting started. So I'm going to start the music. So we're on our back, feet are planted, and let's bring those fingertips to the temples. And then pull that belly button in. From the chest, I want you to lift up just that little crunch, yep, and then bring it back down. Now fingertips to the temples is great if you feel like you get a lot of strain in your neck. Bring your fingertip, fingers behind your head and let your head hang in your hands and feel that curl from the spine. There you go. Now if you synchronize your breath, so you exhale to lift up and inhale to bring it back down. So I don't know if you saw my stories this morning where I realized I black out during my workouts and I don't realize what words come out. Oh God. <laughs> I guess in the Loki workout I said instead of glorious pur purpose, I said gluteus purpose. I have zero recollection of this. You're just naturally funny. <laughs> yeah, it just, I just, so I don't know what's coming. I have no scripted jokes. <laughs> other than the moves that have funny names. So <laughs> it's gonna be a treat to see what comes out. We're gonna bring that chest down, float the feet up in three, two, one. So drop that chest, you're gonna float those knees up to tabletop right here. They're gonna feel a little heavy with those bangles. You're gonna keep that exact bend in the knee and tap one toe down, exhale, bring it up, and alternate sides. Now if you feel like giving me a little more, you're gonna bring those fingertips back to the temples and curl your head up. Adding in a little extra core. I saw that core shake. <laughs> What's your face? It's a good one, it's a good one. I love this basis of the move because it gives you a nice, strong, stable base, which unfortunately Brittany didn't have. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know what's gonna come out, and as soon as this workout's over, I'm not gonna remember anything that I said. <laughs> just another, another Sam comes out and just, just starts talking. <laughs> We're gonna add in a little bit of a twist. We're going to toe twist to the knee that's up, and then <laughs> you're gonna curl up. And then twist to the knee that's up, so drop one leg, bring it back, you're gonna keep the bend in the leg. It makes it just a tad easier. So drop it down, oh, same okay. thing, you're just adding a twist. Got it. There we go, okay. So you're exhaling as you twist up. If you need to, I know it's a lot on the upper core, if your neck's starting to feel it, reset and drop your torso in between each move. So maybe you drop down, and then you exhale, crunch up, drop down, and exhale, bring it on up. All the microphones are on so I won't be lip syncing this workout. <laughs> I remember the day that they told me that Britney lip sings and I was so sad. I feel like that was the thing to do at that time. Though. It really, well because they gave them such hard dance numbers on stage that it was just impossible to sing and dance those crazy moves at the same time. And I remember I was sitting on a swing set at my friend's my mom's friend's house and they had a daughter around my age and we were talking about it and she had just seen Britney in concert and told me that that was one of the one of the concerts where her mic like drop or her the audio track had dropped out. Oh no. So anyways we're gonna bring it to that plank. We're gonna be on those forearms and we're gonna do some toe taps in three, two, one. So roll over onto those forearms. You're up on those toes. Uh, you can drop down to those forearms. Makes it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> I was going to say easier. No! I mean, it kind of does and kind of does it. From here, you're going to tap one foot out to the side and bring it back to center. Dropping that booty down just a bit for me, Lillian. Yeah, there you go. R locking in that core, making it stable. 
squeezing through the glutes, through the obliques. Yeah, so that was, that was a sad day when I learned that. And it didn't like occur to me till much later what had actually occurred, what had happened. And I remember tying up, like we had button down shirts for school and at home we would tie them up to try to look like Brittany. I also realized how wrong that is now, being like eight years old doing that. It's not the thing to do. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> we live and learn. <laughs> We're gonna bring it up. We've got single leg deadlifts. I want you to grab the ring for this one. And we're gonna start with that left leg on the floor in three, two, one. So you're gonna grab the ring, left foot's gonna be on the floor, option to float the right leg or just kickstand it behind you. But single leg deadlift, you're gonna hinge from that hip, glide that ring down, and then stand all the way up, squeezing from that left leg. If you feel good, you can extend the right leg and float it up. How's that feel? Good. You're like, oh, what's coming next? Well, no, I was like, I can't do that right now. No, I, I don't, because I end up feeling it in the wrong part of my glute. So I keep it really in that left leg. It should be, if your right foot's down, it's just light toes on the ground. So it's everything's in that left side. So this move was coined by Gabby. It was <laughs> for this song that she, you dropped the, the, I thought the old lady dropped it into the ocean at the end. Oh, remember which in this song where she's like, what, he went into the ocean to get it for her, the little, the heart? Uh, no, you don't remember this in the music video? Oh, I don't watch music video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I lack in the pop culture area, obviously. <laughs> it's okay. So in this music video, when you hear that break in the song, this never made sense to me. She, she's she's talking to an astronaut, and he hands her the blue necklace from Titanic, and she goes, "Oh, I thought it into. I thought the old lady dropped it in the ocean at the end of the movie." He goes, "Well, I went down and got it for you." Oh. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, okay, I got it. So you're just picking up that uh, blue blue necklace out of the ocean in this move. <laughs> it, it lost all its context. I had to explain it all. <laughs> it's okay. Now you're gonna have to go home and watch this music video because it made no sense. She is wearing this red outfit. That's why my hair is this way. Is for this song. Um, it's the most iconic outfit. One of the most iconic outfits. And it made no sense, like she's a space alien, I think. She's on Mars. And he's an astronaut visiting her. It made no sense. But there's the Titanic. Then, yes, yeah, so they're talking about the Titanic because I believe this came out in like 97, 98. <laughs> this is useless knowledge. I am so sorry. We're gonna hold it over in three, two, one. Hold it over for me, inch in there. And then just that left leg, I want you to pulse it up an inch, down an inch. It's completely useless, guys. I'm so sorry. Now, if you want to, you're gonna switch into the bars. We're gonna go into single leg squat, taking that slider in three, two, one. So you can drop that ring, you can take those bars, adding in a little extra. Slider's gonna be on the right foot, right leg's gonna stay straight, we're just gonna hold the bars to start. You're gonna set that butt back and down, single leg squat, and then squeeze as you lift up. Good, how's that feel? Good. So pulling that belly button in, Engaging through that core. So as you slide down, you're pushing those hips back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. Or in Brittany's case, the space station in that song. I just, that, so that one still boggles my mind. I have no idea what was going on. But it's okay. We love it regardless. You seriously, go watch the music video. <laughs> She's gonna get random pop knowledge. It, it stops after a certain point because I kind of got lost and I went to the alternative rock uh, outlet, so I kind of got lost in the Britney, <laughs> Britney stuff. I know the songs, but I don't know a lot of the history and stuff behind it. But the 90s stuff I got. <laughs> so you're pressing through that glute to lift you up. Like this, do you know the, the whole thing about this song in the MTV Music Awards? Yeah, she like did this with Madonna, right? Okay. And then Madonna kissed her on stage. Oh God. And Madonna's daughter was like, why did you do that, mommy? Of course, this was when 
you know, that stuff wasn't fully acceptable or seen. And Madonna told her daughter, well, I'm just passing pop the queen of pop knowledge to another queen Aww. passing it on so that was her like or something along those lines that was her like way of explaining away a woman to woman kiss <laughs> it's not a bad explanation it's not a bad explanation it was just quite interesting and i remember it just shocked the hell out of everyone cuz it was just not the time yeah it was just not the time of course now it's just perfectly acceptable but yeah it shocked a lot of people How's that glute feeling? Tired. It's tired. Good. So as you're doing this, I want you to pull those elbows back and give me a row as we're here. Just nice and light. If doing the coordination is not happening for you, you can always just drop the weights or just keep hanging on to them. Yeah, there you go. Pull that belly button in nice and tight for me. This is the only variation we're doing. You're not doing any holds or pulses. You're just doing the row. We are going to keep a hold of those weights going into a curtsy lunge. So you're going to keep that foot on the slider and slide it behind you in three, two, one. So standing up nice and tall, you're going to sweep that leg behind you as you keep the back leg straight as you lunge down. Just like we would on the microformer, on the megaformer. Good, coming on up. And then, oh, I saw that shake. Getting that curtsy lunge in for the princess of pop. Because I still believe she is the princess of pop. I don't even know who has the title now. No one's that impressive anymore. No. Probably unpopular opinion, but. Well, maybe for us old people, us old elder millennials. Well, actually, you're kind of like zillennial. You fall on the line. I do. You're, you're the same age as my sisters, and they're like, I know this stuff, but I know this stuff, and I don't know where to go. Know. Such a weird time, 1997. I know. You're at the, the rise of boy bands and Britney and my sisters, it's all lost on them. Like, I did something wrong. Like, they just, this, this music, this, this era is just like, no, we don't care about it at all. But for me, I'm like, okay, give me it all. Okay. <laughs> no, not yet. We've just got one hold down in three, two, one, holding it down nice and low, lift that chest up a bit and sit that butt back and down. You're gonna take that right leg, bend it in and out. I know, we didn't do anything with the weights. <laughs> just, oh, you know, just bend it in and out. We're almost done with it. We're gonna come all the way down to the forearms. We have toxic glute kicks in three, two, one. Drop it all the way down. So forearms are gonna go down. Right knee is gonna stay on the ground. You're gonna bend that left heel in and kick it up towards the sky. Kick that heel up. And we're gonna square off those hips. Yes, there you go. You got that mirror yeah. reflection there, good. Only coming down to hip height and then higher up. So maybe it's only an inch up, inch down. That's fine. I know, these ones feel a little toxic. Maybe they drive you a little crazy. But I love this one. We just did a form video on this. You can see it on Instagram, on TikTok, whatever your preferred platform is. But you're maintaining that nice neutral spine, pulling that belly button in. Yeah, I remember when Toxic came out. And I remember it just caused a huge uproar of just how over-sexualized it was. And then Glee did it. And it was really funny because they all, they all went to the really hot dentist, John Stamos, Uncle Jesse. And they all were put on laughing gas and they all hallucinated themselves as Britney. <laughs> And Brittany, Brittany and Santana were both doing Toxic with John Stamos. It was, it was a great, great, <laughs> great moment. How are we feeling? On fire. Good. Well, we've got one more, not really one more leg move. We're going to do the leg moves back to back, but we've got a one intermediate move working both sides. We're coming up into some sumo squats in three, two, one. I want you to grab that ring. And you're going to take a nice wide stance. So you get a little break here as we set up. Toes are going to point out at least at a 45 degree angle. Hold the ring at the chest and you're going to bend the knees. Elongate that tailbone so you're sitting down in between those hips. Chest is lifted. There you go. Squeezing up. So you're feeling the inner thighs stretch. You're feeling quads, those glutes. Imagining the quads wrapping around to squeeze the glutes. How does that feel? 
It's not so, I know left leg's like, what the hell? What the hell? This is like a good back. Yes. <laughs> We're like, okay, we can kind of get the right leg to kick in here. You got the weight. If you need to, you can always just hold the weight down low. If holding it up, we're just sneaking in arms here and there. We feel all right. You might. <laughs> I feel all right. I feel great. <laughs> I'm just standing here talking about pop culture. <laughs> my time has finally come for all my useless knowledge to come out and fill the space. <laughs> we're gonna hold it low in three. Two, one, so holding it nice and low, chest is lifted, draw that core in. Now I want you to alternate, right heel lift, drop it down, left heel lift, drop it down. So you're just alternating here, staying low. Can you push those knees out a little bit? Woo! I know. It's feeling so good. <laughs> Maybe a little toxic. Woo! How are we feeling? Sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty and so good. We are gonna go backwards through the whole leg routine. So you're gonna place that ring down, keep it close. We're going into those toxic glute kicks because the song is here again in three, two, one. Not here again, but it's here. So dropping down back to those forearms, left knee stays down. You're gonna curl that heel in towards that booty and kick it right back up. Squaring off those hips, pulling that belly button in, kick it up and down. Good, how we feel? Yeah. Into that right leg now. Woo! Remember, the whole thing's going backwards. And we have, it's a full body routine today. It's a full 40 to 45 minutes. We'll see how long it takes us, how long my spiels get. <laughs> We're addicted to these glute moves though. I think everyone can agree that they love a good glute move. Whether it's not bungee kicks or glute kicks, Maybe it's a sumo squat, maybe it's the deadlift. I like the deadlift. Yeah, the deadlift. Those seem to be like the, the favorites. I think a lot of people love the curtsy lunge too. Maybe not when you've done it for like the fourth leg move. <laughs> We're gonna bring it up. We are going into that curtsy lunge though. It's coming quicker than the other time. Grab those weights, grab the slider in three, two, one. Go ahead, grab that slider. Grab those weights, so left foot goes on the slider now. Holding those weights down, you're gonna sweep that left leg behind you. Keep it straight, squeeze the inner thighs, and bend the right knee, good. Pressing up. There you go, it's not so bad this time around, right? No, it's not like <laughs> overloaded yet. You'll say that about the, the single leg squat yeah. and the deadlift, you're like, no, 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 we're done, we're done. A lot of that glute work, Good, now knitting that rib cage together. A lot of the time we like to overarch in that back. You wanna hinge forward a little bit to keep that neutral spine. And watch all the dancers for Brittany, all the backup dancers, like they're all just overarched. Even Brittany is just overarched and I just can't imagine the back pain. I know it looks good. Like it looks great in all the, all the videos and stuff, but it just must hurt so much. Well, now, nowadays, I feel like it looks weird because we know what proper form looks like. Yeah. Yes, yes. You're sitting here like, oh, like, from the front, you're like, wow, they're so, like, long. And then they turn to the side, you go, oh, ow. It's like a duck, kind of. Yes. <laughs> it's the, back. we had the Olsen twins start the duck lips. <laughs> How many of you remember that? <laughs> Every selfie. Oh, good Lord. What did we do? <laughs> I really hope Gen Z looks back on their generation and go, oh my God. Oh, I'm sure. I really hope. Hey, some things on TikTok are really dumb, so. I mean, they are the generation that ate Tide Pods. So. But aren't we the generation that ate the tablespoon of like cinnamon? Oh my God. I think that was our generation. The cinnamon challenge. <laughs> oh, just, it was our generation that also did the milk, mil the gallon milk chug challenge as well. People are always chugging things though. Yeah, that's true. We're, we're the four loco generation. Oh God. <laughs> we're gonna hold it down nice and low. In three, two, one. Get down nice and low in that curtsy lunge. Staying low, I want you to bend that back knee in. Pull it in, send it out. Digging through that right heel. Squeeze the inner thighs. Knit that rib cage together. Keep it strong. We're going into that single leg. We gotta work, bitch. We're gonna send that left leg out to the side. In three, two, one, good, you can come on up, send that left leg out to the side, 
Remember, you can hang on to those weights still. <laughs> oh, yes. We're getting the legs completely out of the way, if that makes anything better. <laughs> we think so. So you're sitting that hip back and down, working more into that side glute, <laughs> mentally preparing. I know. Working out to a whole mental battle. Showing up is the first thing though, right? Yes, the first step is just showing up. You started the workout. We're here, you're committed. You're almost done with the legs. There's really only one leg move left. I promise there's no sneaky leg moves. Do lunge down or squat down. Maybe you add in that row. We're still gonna add in the rows because we have a lot more front body work. We're adding in a little bit of back work. So on the lunge down or squat down, row it at the bottom. There you go, and then come up. Nice a little bit more. I feel like it makes more sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> it happens all the time. Good, pull that core in. Now remember, we're sticking that butt out. It's gotta work. You're digging through that heel to lift you up. You're feeling that little stretch of the inner thighs. You got a little taste of that earlier and in the sumo squat. Woo. Remember, you got that single leg deadlift. We gotta do it again to finish it off. <laughs> you good? Yeah. A little bit longer. This is the only variation is the row. Whoo! Well over halfway. Pushing deep into that heel. You gotta work, bitch. We're trying, I know. I feel like the next one's a little bit easier. Yeah. Deadlifts. Deadlifts, I feel like, are deceptively hard, but you can make them very easy and supportive. We're gonna go into that deadlift here in three, two, one. No more slider. We're gonna drop those bars, Let's pick up that ring. Right foot forward now, left foot can anchor back. Oh, yes. Back stays nice and flat. You're gonna push those hips back. Slide that ring down the leg as if it's just kind of gliding down the leg. Squeeze with that right side up. Remember, light, light weight in the left toes. Good. Pull that core in. Uh, maybe you, I don't know if you know this, the song that played earlier, Drive Me Crazy, was part of a movie, was actually for a movie called Drive Me Crazy. And it had uh, Melissa Joan Hart in it. I don't even know who that is. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. So that, and she's actually seen in the music video too, because it was all part of like the promo. And that was like at the height of Britney, like as she's gaining and back the, like, I feel like back then they put a lot more pop stars like into teen movies. Like they kind of yeah. pushed them in a bit more. So they got little secret promos here and there. So that was kind of hers. I don't know if NSYNC and Backstreet Boys had any of that. Backstreet Boys. Any of them probably. I'm sure they were. I do know there was actually a lot of pop stars that kind of like got sprinkled into Boy Meets World, but they were really, really like small pop stars. Like I listened to all of them, but they were kind of just, they never made it big. One hit wonders. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely one hit. I can't, I remember the album covers, but I cannot remember the group name. But yeah, that's. That was her movie. I like Backstreet Boys was in This Is the End with uh, Seth Rogen. Oh yeah. Woo, get it, get it, get it right here. This was also a racy one. We're gonna hold it over in three, two, one. Hold it over for me. Right there, you're gonna pulse it one inch up, one inch down with that right side, squeeze from that right glute, from that hamstring. You're gonna keep a hold of that ring. We're gonna work the right oblique first. So we're gonna drop that left knee for side torso crunch in three, two, one. So left knee goes down on the floor, right leg kick stands up to the side. Now option here, you can rack, <laughs> you can rack that weight on your shoulder or you can hold it straight up or switch to the bars. But you're gonna grab that left hand around the waist and then just like we would on the machine, you're gonna hinge over. I'm gonna double check that AC for you. Make sure you get appropriate airflow. I think it's just me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get sweaty, so make sure there's, there's air. And like, did you see this drip? Yes. The sweat dripping. Woo. 
so, so good. So we're feeling the length and strength of that oblique. So we're hinging over with that right oblique. You're feeling that little crunch, but you keep nice, long, neutral torso to help engage it. Now this is where we're gonna make it really fun. You guys know this one as star killer. That left hand's gonna come down to the floor, bringing that right arm down if it's up in three, two, one. Left hand goes down to the floor, right arm, right leg, lift it up and bring it on down. I just looked over at the wall. It's actually on our photo wall, our gallery wall. Lift up, yes, there you go. So you get a little extra, I guess that is technically sneaky glute work here. <laughs> technically, but you're kind of distracted with your obliques, with your arm. Now I challenge you guys, in the next 10 seconds, I want you to keep that bar. If you've switched to the bar, uh, keep it. If not, I want you to switch to it. We've got mermaids, so you're gonna sit on your left butt cheek in three, two, one. Drop it down to that left butt cheek. The left forearm's gonna go down. You're gonna extend the legs out, bring them in front of your hips a bit. Right arm's gonna reach overhead with that weight. Now maybe it's just the top leg lifts up. Maybe it's both legs. Maybe it's the knees bent. But you're moving arms and legs up to get that little top oblique crunch. Love the modification. I know with the bangles as well, it gets really heavy. <sighs> so in that song, did you know that one of the guys that was shown in Tiger King, one of the tiger like <laughs> zoo people, his tiger and him were on MTV Music Awards during that song. I did not know that. Yeah, you can, when she comes out of the cage, there's a tiger, she's in the cage with a tiger, and the guy that owns the tiger is obviously sitting in there. And that was in the Tiger King documentary series, like, that was like one of his proudest moments. It's not Joe, Joe Exotic, but it was another guy, Don something or other. You know what these, um, fun facts are writing yet? <laughs> you know when you listen to, like, radio on the TV, how it has the random, like, yeah. facts pop up, like, in 2003. Yes, that's, that's my life. <laughs> Almost done here. We are going into a plank hold. You're going to be up on those hands. Drop those weights in three, two, one. Good. Dropping into that plank. Oh, I know. So sweaty. High or low? High. High plank on those hands. Send it out. And now bring the right knee in towards the left elbow. So you're going to cross across the body, tap it back. Just the right side, just the right side. Oh, I just ripped. Oh, you're fine. I mop every weekend, so you're fine. <laughs> I'm the laundry service here for all the clothes that people borrow. I'm, I'm the cleaning service. I stock everything. I'm the snack bar, I'm the coffee bar. It's just everything here. Good, so squeeze through that right oblique. I know, I know guys. But guess what, this is the last oblique move. I'm not torturing you with four moves. We're gonna come up into arms. You're gonna grab your ring. We have you drive me crazy halos. In three, two, one. Come on up, grab that ring. Standing up, you can do this nice soft athletic stance. Halos, so you're gonna hold the ring right above the head. You're gonna sweep it over to one side, around the head, bring it back in, keeping the elbows in nice and tight. Good, I'll tell you when to switch directions. We're just gonna go in one direction, then we'll switch it over. So you know how in the music video, <laughs> she does this, you drive me crazy. That's what you're doing, but now we're working the arms. <laughs> Your head is staying stable. Your core is actually working to stabilize you. Make the motion a little bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah, so shoulders, triceps, lats, oblique stabilize. There's a lot happening in this move. It looks simple, but it's not. We're going to switch sides, switching that direction in three, two, one, good. And then switch the direction off to the other side, circle it back and around. It's just 30 seconds on each side. It feels like much longer. It does feel like much longer. Bring it down in front, circle it around, trying to clear that head. Okay, I know it feels like a circus. We got ringleader coming up next. We're gonna bring it down and we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna, we're going to drive the circus. We're not going to make another circle. We're gonna bring it up in three, two, one. So arms are gonna come down. You're gonna do a front raise and I want you to steer it one side, then the other, bring it back down. It's a little combo move. So lift up, front raise, 
twisting, driving it. So while you're doing this move, as you lift the arms up, make sure you're not puffing the chest out and getting into this motion we talked about earlier. Soft bend in the knees, tuck in that tailbone so core and glutes are engaged, knitting that rib cage down just like the chest lift. Aren't you so lucky? This is a good workout. <laughs> you're welcome. Woo! I forgot to grab and mention one last, uh, we are using, I forgot we're using the beam. It's only because this was requested by Melissa because it looks so much like <laughs> the snake that Brittany had on stage. Oh yeah. It's just a shoulder press. You're gonna rack it on your shoulders. You're gonna bring it up. Like I said, that's why you did so much rows in the in between so that you could work your back a bit. But you're gonna bring this up. I'll swap you. Okay, right now? In, well, in three, <laughs> in two, oh, and one. We'll swap it out. That shoulder press, we're a slave for this move. Oh yes. So just like that snake, you're lifting it up and bringing it down. Just that shoulder press, nice and easy. Knit that rib cage together, good. Soft bend in your knees. Look at my Ooh. left butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just twitching. It's so good. It won't stop. <laughs> I should, I should, I should gif it. For a boomerang? <laughs> boomerang it, yes. <laughs> I like see it. Do you see it? A little bit. I'll, I'll play with it. <laughs> okay. We're going to swap it back out for the ring because this will be pretty brutal if you do it with the, with the bar, the beam. We're going to do a chest press with the, the ring in three. Two, like one, that. no, what? you're standing, you're standing, yes, you're standing. You, uh, there's a reason for that. So you're holding that ring and you're gonna press it out and in, just a chest press. There you go. I can't lay down? No, you can't lay down. <laughs> you can come down to the knees and do this from a kneeling position. Oh, I like that. Options, guys, so you can sit in a chair, you can kneel down, you can even come down to the heels, but engage your core. So the reason why I would want it standing is because in, oops, I did it again, in the music video, she does this with it. So that's why that moves in here. And I love it, but we wanted the ring because we have the next move coming up. Going back into the left oblique. <laughs> how you feel? Done. Done. <laughs> Done, I know, that's how Brittany feels too. She's just over it all. Uh, hopefully she can get this resolved and maybe by 2022 she'll have a much better year. <sighs> hopefully. But we're gonna go into that side torso crunch. We're not working it backwards. We're just gonna hang on to that ring, left arm, right knee goes down in three, two, one. So right knee is down on the ground, left leg kick stands out, uh, lift your hips up, uh, lift up off of your heel. There you go, <laughs> there we go. Right hand wraps that waist and just holding that weight. If you want to, you can go into the bar. Maybe you send it up. I know you used the bar last time, so I'm prepping for you. Thank you. You're welcome. But you're stronger than you were. I know it feels like you're weaker by the end of this workout, but <laughs> trust me, you're stronger. I don't feel stronger now, I'll be stronger tomorrow. Yes, for sure, maybe in two days after the soreness has gone away. My butt's really sore from Lydia's workout. She did, one does not simply lunge into Mordor. Playing off of Lord of the Rings, the very famous Boromir meme. So I, we did literally like 18 minutes of lunges. Oh my God. I mean, we broke it up with some core, but it was just so many leg moves, my butt's tired. We're gonna hold it over in three, two, one, hold it over, drop that right hand down, that scar ki star killer. You're gonna press that left arm straight up, lifting that left leg, yeah. I'm like, please take it away. <laughs> it's too much. Okay. You guys are stronger. Squeeze up from, <laughs> there you go. Left oblique, right oblique are both working. Left glute is getting a little bit of action. Shoulder work here. 
Lots of things happening. There's only two more oblique moves. Done. Yeah. Core. I mean, there's just one center core move. So it's not terrible. I have my back for it. No, you're gonna be on the slider. Uh, Everyone's like, oh. Pike. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bear pike to pike combo is the finisher. We're gonna bring it down for that mermaid in three, two, one. Drop onto that right butt cheek. Bring those legs out in front of those hips just a little bit. Left arm's gonna go overhead. Uh, bring the forearm down, it'll be better. Yeah, now remember, just that top leg, maybe knees bent or both legs can lift up. You move arm and leg together. Press out of your right shoulder. Yeah, there you go, push, push away from the floor so don't collapse there. Yes, she's like, why did I do this? I know, she's, Sam just keeps killing me. Oh, how long have I known you now? That was too long. <laughs> I don't know how I'm still alive. Uh, yeah, guys. So she, what year did you graduate? 2015. Okay, it's like you you would know that better than I would. So, <laughs> Lillian graduated in 2015. I met her a couple months before her high school graduation. Really? Yeah. Oh. You were still in high school. You were still playing volleyball. That, that was my junior year then, if I was still playing volleyball. Oh really? That was your junior year? Oh, 2015. Okay, well, 20, now it's even longer. Okay guys, we're gonna move it into that plank in three, two, one. Come into that plank so hands are down. Up on those hands, high plank. Oh no. Oh yes. Send it out, and you're gonna bring that left knee into that right elbow. Now I'm moving that slider close to her because she is gonna be using that next. Ooh, we are so close to the end, guys. But yeah, Lillian's been with me since the very beginning. She's <laughs> She came to me as a client. Look at her now, she's still here <laughs> somehow. I remember one time you came to one of my first like Legree classes, you brought a friend with you and you asked for Christina versus Brittany playlist. Did I? Yes, that was at Sculpt 50. So I knew you'd be perfect for this one when you said you wanted to come in and work out. <laughs> Guys, we're almost there. You're gonna find that uh, slider. You're gonna put both feet on it. We've got a combo move. I'll walk you through it. Holding that high plank in three, two, one. Okay, feet go on that slider. Uh, drop your toes, nope, to the right, to the right, to the right. There you go. <laughs> both feet on that slider. Holding your plank. Okay. I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible. So send it out to your plank. We're gonna walk through it, bend the knees in to bear. Now extend the legs so you're in a pike. So you uh, bend the knees in, pike it up, pike it down, bend the knees in, pike the hips up and down. How's that? Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's not so bad. Maybe, <laughs> says the person standing here holding the stopwatch, not quite sweating. <laughs> Who hasn't lifted all the balas that we own, that we have? <laughs> Guys, that's okay. We're almost done with it. It's been about a 40 minute workout, really similar to our full length. Woo! Keep going through this, stay strong with me. Stay strong for Brittany, so give it your all. She's been giving it her all, all this time, fighting through this, so if she can fight through this, so can you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's kind of me. I know. Guys, we're gonna take that child's pose and take that final resting pose. In three, in two, and one. Good. I know, sometimes you run, sometimes you hide, sometimes you cry. Didn't I do a video of that? Yes, I did. I did a video of you guys, <laughs> of clients. I say sometimes you run and you run away from me. Sometimes you cry, <laughs> you hide. I'm just asking you to do a simple bear to plank <laughs> pike combo, it's all. Okay guys, take those stretches. Go uh, help Brittany somehow. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time on the Micro Squad. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the Micro Squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and check out our on-demand classes. They are on our website, themicrosquad.com, and we'll see you next time.